video we will learn how to create this cool space shining glow look with some different type of effects so let's start by creating a new document we will use a bigger resolution for this uh, 2048 for the width and 1536 for the height once you've done that let's make sure your background is filled with black and create a new layer we'll be filling this with clouds so using filter let's go to render clouds once you have that let's cut off some patches here so using the lasso tool I'll be using about 22 pixels of feather and let's just highlight some parts here using a shift key notice that there's a plus sign below the lasso tool here once you have that ready hold on your shift key and select some of the parts of these clouds make sure you select some of the corners too and some part over here once you have that done using your keyboard just press the delete key since we have this let's use the eraser tool to minus some of the parts here using the eraser tool we'll use some 420 pixels and make sure your hardness is completely zero let's erase some parts here not a lot just a bit of this some at the bottom here once you have that done let's duplicate this layer and change the blending mode to color dodge make sure you have some glowing edges here if not let's increase the opacity of this layer to about 30 percent so that you have some bright glowing here once that's done let's create a new layer and let's call this layer back shade we'll be dragging this layer right below both these layers here so let's use the clouds again any latest recent effects you use here in the filter will come up straight here which is a sh you can use a shortcut key which is control F so let's try that using control F we get the same clause we just created we press it once twice which you'd really like here doesn't have much of a difference now let's change this blur using Gaussian blur let's blur this a bit a lot actually let's make this 150 150 is okay just a grayish look and let's reduce the opacity to about 10 and drag this right below all of these layers so we don't have a complete 100% black which you can see so once that's done let's call these layers cloud and call this cloud glow and let's create another new layer and let's call this color Okay, using our brush tool, we'll be creating some colors here, some smooth mixed color here. Let's change the brush to about a bigger size. 569 is okay. And let's reduce the hardness to complete soft edge so that we have a neat color fill. Let's change the color to about, let's say, aqua. Let's fill in some here. And we'll use some orange dark orange okay let's use um, purple purple is okay some here and let's change another color blue we already used let's use some green once you have that done switch back to your selection tool and let's change this blending mode to color you see that the glowing edges here glows now with the color you have just embed blended with let's get rid of a bit of these sharp edges here by making it blurred let's use Gaussian blur let's try a bit let's make this Yeah, once 
once you make that full you get rid of those sharp lines there let's reduce this up to 200 once you've done that let's create another new layer and let's call this curve shine we'll be creating some curves here so we'll be creating that by I just full screen this by using the F key you can press it once or twice whichever you'd like I'll use the black one which makes me know exactly where I am okay, once you've done that let's use the pen tool to make some curves using the pen tool make sure paths is selected up here we'll click and drag inwards what we're exactly doing here is we need just a few curves so we don't really need the we need to know how it really goes outside so once you've done that let's make a neat make sure you're out of that document here a neat curve that's okay using alt key just to give a click here so that you don't get a large bend at this point let's click using alt key again just click at the end point once you've done that let's right click and make a selection here make sure your feather is zero pixels we don't want any soft edge here once you have that selection using your gradient tool make sure your foreground and background color is black and white uh, let's make that white and black so that we get a white transparent here white to transparent and make sure your transparency is also che checked in let's add a bit of a shine here make sure it's not too strong so once you've got a better color let's adjust that a bit and this is ok I guess let's deselect it by pressing ctrl D let's zoom in a bit here ok once you've done that let's change the blending mode of this to overlay you can see the shine look here which glows in more let's duplicate this by pressing ctrl J and using the arrow keys just adjust it a bit down once you've done that let's reduce the back ones or the one we just duplicated its opacity to about 80 percent that's okay let's create some more shades here on top on the different colors let's make sure you have a new layer selected created I mean and using the pen tool again let's make a curve here make sure you click and drag in your document I mean the towards the document so that it gives you a curve inner side let's make a small shade here once you have your curve using alt key click on the last point we just created and click and using alt key again using click on the end point right click and select make selection again zero pixels for the feather once you have the selection done using the same gradient here let's add some color a light color would be okay and deselect it by pressing ctrl D and change the blending mode to overlay let's duplicate this again and let's do the same thing dragging it straight up and reducing the opacity to about 80 percent that's okay let's create another here let's make a bit smaller curve now using the same way alt click alt click on the end point make selection zero feather pixels and let's create a bit of a small using a shift key just click and drag so that you get a that's okay using deselect this and make this overlay let's duplicate that the shortcut key is control j drag this a bit okay and reduce this opacity to about 80 just a neat shine look here let's create another one for the green using your pen tool drag towards the document make a nice curve using your key click on the point again let's make the selection zero feather and ag again with the same gradient add in some white and change the blending mode again to overlay let's duplicate that and 
let's reduce the opacity for this okay once you have done that let's use the same let's use this curve here which is I guess it's this yeah. let's duplicate this using the alt key and drag in the document and using a transform tool the shortcut is control T transform this a bit and let's use some in the in the document let's say here again using your alt key just drag another one so we have another neat curve here let's create two small over this side let's use the same small curves we created these are the ones let's con con shift click or control click to select both these layers and using your alt key again drag in let's transform that somewhere around here okay once that's done let's create another I think that's enough with the curves let's use the text tool to type in some text I'll be using this font for this tutorial and we'll use a big size let's type in space and be using a white color let's add some effects for this text here using the blending options the shortcut is somewhere around here on this effects blending options or you could right click and click on blending options once you have that open let's add a color dodge outer glow let's change the blending mode to color dodge and let's make the opacity to about 60% leave the color to default spread 5% and the size around 50 pixels let's see what we have here and let's change the contour to half round which gives us a bigger glow make the range to about 25% let's reduce that increase that 40% is ok Once you have done that, let's duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J and let's rasterize this layer by creating a new layer below the text. The, there's another way to rasterize it by right clicking on this text layer and clicking on rasterize but this would not remove the blending options which you can see it does not not does not remove the blending options. It's Ctrl Z here. If you would want to rasterize the text with removing the blending options which you cannot edit later on, create a new layer below an empty layer basically and click on the text layer and use the shortcut key control E which merges and removes applies the blending options and cl clears it off from the editing section let's zoom back here let's change the filter and add some blur let's use radial blur we'll use 40 for the amount and zoom the quality good and press on ok let's change the blending mode to soft light so we get this spreaded glow once you have that done let's add another effect here for this text that is let's go back to the blending options here on top and reducing this fill opacity to complete zero you would get this even on this side here the fill opacity would reduce this to zero Let's complete that to zero and press on OK. You could see what we have here. Let's make this glow a bit more stronger. Let's make the range about here and let's increase this opacity a bit. About 80 pixels percent. Let's reduce the size to over 40. Spread. Okay, that's okay. Let's make that back. Once you've done that, let's zoom back here. Let's drag this around somewhere we, where we can get some better glow. The blue is not giving a better glow here. Let's try the one with the red and the orange. Yeah, this is good. Let's leave it there. 
once you have that done let's create another layer above all and name that stars using the brush tool let's create some few stars here on this let's change the brush to a star here which I have I'll be providing it in the source file here we have and let's press N F5 to edit the brush using we'll use uh, let's use a size first let's make this about you could see the preview here let's use about 80 pixels let's reduce that about 70 and make sure spacing is about 70 percent shape dynamics let's increase the size jitter and some scattering thousand leave the count to one and let's add a few stars here by clicking and dragging some here and some up here some near the text that's okay once you have that done let's duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j and the layer below let's go to filter blur gaussian blur and reduce increase this blur a bit so that let's use about 9 pixels and change the blending mode to overlay so you just have a bit of a glow there and let's change the stars settings to we'll use auto glow for this and let's blend this to color dodge which you can see it changes the glow to the color behind color dodge is ok and let's change this capacity to about let's reduce that 80% is good and no spread with about 20 pixels in size let's increase that uh, 20 is really good make the range about 70% so we don't have a really very bright star ok let's see here you can see that the stars have taken their own background color that's it we'll be doing for this wallpaper I hope you learned something from this and you could add some more stars if you like we'll change the colors we created in the back so thanks for watching